did you miss me? July 6th, 1957, Liverpool, Tanland. A teenage band called The Quarrymen are performing at a church garden party, and they're pretty good. But there's one small problem. They're not the Beatles. But not for long they're not. This nerd convinces this nerd to ditch these two nerds, and then later on this one nerd for this nerd, and then boom! You're doing a fucking Beatles on it, baby. Over the next eight years, the lads take over the world with songs like Hey Jude, Let It Be, Twist and Shout, Wild Honey Poo. <laughs> okay, maybe not that one. Rightfully securing their place in rock and roll history. And to this day, John, Paul, George, and Ringo are still widely considered to be the second greatest band of all time. That's right, bitches. Today we're talking about Fallout Boy. The year is Bebo times. Phones flipped. Jeans ripped. Kingdom Hearts AMVs clipped. But these goth, pop, punk, emo tweens and tweenettes won't be raving for much longer. There's about to be a shift in the music scene to the beat of four on the floor. You want to be on the radio? Well, then I want a hard beat on every beat on every bar till I fucking die. Bad Romance. I Kissed a Girl. Viva La Vida. Womanizer. Sorry, I'm just listing shit I had to pretend not to like when I was 13 now. Uh, high School Musical, Pokemon, fucking boys, all four on the floor. Sad boy hours are dunion rings. We're all about having fun, baby. So, now it's 2008, which is a weird time to be putting out an emo pop record. This is torture. Not only that, but due to burnout, the band are planning on taking a hiatus after their next album. And in frontman Pete Wentz's own words, hiatuses are forever, unless you get old or lonely. And I don't plan on either. The band is quitting, the genre is dying, this is the end of an era, and they've only got one shot to play it outright. Folly Ado comes out on the 16th of December 2008, and it does not sell well. It was the wrong album to put out at the wrong time, and it's got a bear getting a piggyback from a furry for reasons I do not understand. But none of that matters, because the tunes fucking slap. Coffees for closers. It's a bomb. I don't care. It's a bomb. West Coast smoke. Oh, hang on. Hello? Mr. President, is that you? Well, of course, I'll let them know. Uh, it's a fucking bomb. And of course, the grand finale. What a catch, Donnie. Not the usual in-your-face pop-punk anthem, but a rare ballad from the band mournfully celebrating their legacy before it's finally put to rest. The music video being the last thing they released before their indefinite hiatus was made official. A story of a lone sailor who befriends an injured seagull, and over the course of their voyage constantly happens upon abandoned remnants from the band's past excursions. And in case the metaphor was too subtle for you, eventually the literal sinking ship that is Fallout Boy. As he rescues the vessel's refugees, all either members of the band or characters from their previous outings, the music swells and we are blessed with an angelic choir of the genre's biggest stars who join in to sing them out because this is not just the end of Fallout Boy, but the era it was born into. It's like the Avengers for people who know what Pon and Z is. A final shot of the shipwreck overshadowed entirely by the celebration of its voyage because even though this thing we shared is Done, we take the memories with us and that will always be enough. And this, th this masterpiece, this immaculate career-defining tapestry to send off a generation, a triumph, th th the swan song to end all swan songs is track number eight? Fuck you, dude. How do you follow this up with fucking 27? Yeah, Fallout Boy got back together a few years later, but we didn't know that at the fucking time. And look, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I understand the structure of a work of art more than the people who created it. But I do, and here it is. Yes, I disappeared for seven months only to come back so I could bitch about the track order of an album that came out 14 years ago. What are you gonna do about it? New video next week, or maybe never again. I'm a loose fucking kid. Cannon, baby. I am the third revelation. I defeated a Maleficent demon in a game of wits for the soul of a child and then killed it myself to assert dominance. You cannot tell me what to do. Timing. Thank you for watching my video. Do all the fucking things. Special thank you to my Patreon boys, Melody May, Legolas Beirub, Of Lore, and...
Oh, fuck you. Uh, uh you, Eugene, you, Nowak. I know that one. I'm, I'm sorry your shout outs got stuck at the end of whatever this was. And I'm sorry for calling you a bitch back there in the intro. That was way out of line on my part. 